Today we're going to go through the steps of installing thermal buck. We, we're here in Orderville, Utah, and we've got a six foot wide, five foot tall window that we're getting ready to install. We've already double checked the measurements to make sure everything's good. We shimmed the inside of the opening to make sure that the opening itself is nice and level. That way when we install the thermal buck, the full weight of the window sets the whole way across the thermal buck uh, the way the window uh, manufacturers want it to. So we pre-measured everything to make sure everything was correct. We've already pre-cut everything to make sure it's there ready to fit. So now we'll start in by uh, putting the adhesive onto the backs of the thermal buck. So we're going to put three beads on the back of the thermal buck. These are roughly three eighths inch thick beads. That way we get uh, good ooze of the the seal on itself when we apply it. When we apply it we're going to place force against the wall to make sure that the thermal buck sets very tight against the wall. Uh, the reason for the shape of the thermal buck itself there's a leg that goes inside the opening so we have to make the rough openings larger than what we typically do. That's for strength reason, reasons and installation reasons. Uh, the fin that goes inside the opening keeps the thermal buck tight up against the wall. If you just had something on the outside of the wall, the weight of the window could very easily pull that away from the wall and that, that would cause a lot of issues. We do, after we have the three beads, we just place it in the, the rough opening. Now when we cut the thermal buck, we cut it a sixteenth of an inch short of the rough opening. That way, there's room for the next piece to come in, and we have room for sealant in the corner. We'll cover that here in a little bit. So, you don't cut the thermal buck full length. You do roughly 16th to an eighth of an inch short. And then, the amount of weight that this product will hold, it's, it's pretty impressive. Okay. So. Well, what we're doing here is we're pounding in nails every 10 to 12 inches across the seal. That way, it gives a lot of strength uh, to the application. It lets it set till the sealant sets, but it, it also, those nails have long-term strength. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some sealant on the ends of the thermal buck. Okay, next we'll put in the GM pieces. In a seal application for distributing the weight, we hold around 70 pounds per lineal inch. That's around 840 pounds per lineal foot. The seal pan in this is integral. We have a waterproof membrane on it, and the pieces have a slope, the slope outwards. So all pieces have it, but it's just enough to keep the water draining. That way all windows are eventually going to leak. It's just a fact of life. So this way you have in a built-in seal pan that pushes that water outward. You'll see when we install the windows, we do not caulk the bottom. It's, it's general practice when you, do, when you install windows. That way you don't uh, have water management issues later. The sealant we use is a Dow Corning 758. Uh, the reason we chose that, it's a really high-end sealant. We don't want to just use uh, a typical uh, caulking. We want a good quality sealant because this is a long-term uh, investment. This is a long-term investment that you're making in your house and we want to make sure we have good watertight and airtight seals for a long time. We just put another generous application of uh, the Dow Corning 758 at each one of the mitered corners. That way when we put this together we have plenty of sealing in there to get a really good seal. Okay, now 
now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to clamp the corner to hold it till the sealant cures. We don't want you to install windows the same day you install the thermal buck. We want it to set for 24 hours before you install a window. So what we do is we take two of the roofing nails that we used and we drive them down in in a fashion like this where they hold that corner tight with this high density foam it with this high density foam it will not let it move then last the excess we have left over that oozed out we smear it all in good Make sure we have a good seal. Now, when we come back around, we'll use the Dow Corning 758 to seal around the edge when we do our WRB layer. Okay, now that we've got a complete thermal buck install, we definitely want to wait 24 hours before installing windows. That way it gives the seal on a good chance to cure. We're back on day two. We're getting ready to install the window. We installed thermal buck yesterday, gave it a day to cure, so now we're gonna set the window. With these larger windows, we've decided to, uh, to put the sealant on the thermal buck instead of trying to get it all over your fingers while we're lifting these big heavy windows into place. So now we're going to just go ahead and set the window right inside the thermal buck. And we look perfect there. Ready to throw some screws in. I just put one in the center and then go ahead and put the, if you want to put the sash in, I go ahead. Gap looks really good from the outside. How's it look on the inside? Gap's really good. We're going to close them off the sash and then start putting the screws into the windows. We're going to start installing uh, poly ISO insulation. We're using two inches of Atlas Energy Shield. And on top of that, we're going to have a half inch rain screen. So we used a two and a half inch thermal buck. That way we'll have a nice flush plane for the cladding. Now, as you see down at the base, we've got the flashing already installed. So if any moisture happens to get behind the installation, it shouldn't because we're using it as a WRB, but just as a precautionary measure, it'll come out. We'll seal between the thermal buck and the insulation, then we'll flash the windows at the same point. We totally installed the Alpen windows in two and a half inches of thermal buck. Uh, the continuous insulation's up, the seams are all taped on it, so now we're going to get into flashing. So we're going to take the pieces, we've already cut them to length, to start at the top, come down over, they're going to wrap over and continue on to the face of the continuous insulation, then we'll go across with the head piece. Bring it in real tight against the window itself. Make sure we get a good cover over the flange. So we'll take it and we'll wrap it down over the contour. Make sure we get a good corner out of it. Now while Thomas is going to finish that up, I want to cover why we have the step here. This is two and a half inches of thermal buck. Here's the J-roller if you need it. Two and a half inches thick of thermal buck with two inches of Atlas Energy Seal Shield uh, Poly ISO insulation. And then we're going to have half inch rain screen put on top of this to attach the siding to. So once this is done, we'll have a nice flat plane across here to to adhere the siding to and the 
tape here Thomas chose to flash the windows with is a, I think it's very good tape. It's not part of our system. We don't have a, a single tape that we do recommend you using. We just want to make sure that you test to make sure it adheres really well to the thermal buck. There's a lot of them out in the market. We really haven't found anything yet at this point that doesn't adhere well to thermal buck. Make sure you keep everything in a nice shingled effect. That way water doesn't get in. We'll have to do the same thing up here. If Thomas wants to start J-rolling, he can start J-rolling now. Okay. So now we've applied the protective wrap and done a final layer for the continuous, for the flashing. Uh, We've got a good seal of the Dow Corning 758 between uh, the thermal buck and the window, which has passed all the testing for a flashing agent. And then on top of that, we have the shingled layer of the tape. So we've got an extra layer added in here. Now, when we finish out the wall, we'll continue down here with his uh, air WRB tape to finish off the, the layer with the continuous installation. And We'll have a complete wall assembly.